And of course, it's going to be the glitched update, and I have tons of leaks to show you, so make sure you stay tuned if you want to see all the leaks. Yo, what is up? So I'm going to be making a tech coins video, and basically just like a tutorial on the best ways it matters. Some crazy news has just been announced. Preston is going crazy, all right? Crazy in a good way, anyway. So, yeah, there's going to be a new update, and we're going to get into it. But if you look in game, there is a new update coming out in one day and 20 hours, which is obviously April 4th, all right? April 1st, which is pretty nice, all right? I have some egg sighting news. Egg, egg, Easter egg, okay? I'm, I'm here all week. The Easter. Easter is on Sunday this weekend, so I'm sure everyone's going to get lots of chocolate, which is nice. But the update is basically, it's been confirmed. Preston's confirmed an Easter update, which is good. Hey. Sadly, Pet Simulator X has been dropping players massively recently. There literally is nothing new to do, and all the players that are coming onto the game are basically just getting bored. I am on Pet Sim X for the first time in a while. And wow, look at that timer over there. They've added this timer. I don't, can you even call it a timer or, or a or a thingy. So pretty much it says, next big update, 3 million likes. I leave it. Oh my goodness, finally, right? After days, we- Okay, oh my, the new autumn update is here, so we're gonna check it out. Before we go in, make sure you drop a like and you subscribe. But yeah, let's do this, let's check out this update. Let's go. So yeah, there's an anime update, obviously, okay, I've got a terrible memory. So let's just check out this, this is obviously new. Let's put on like a weak pet so I can just see this thing. Hey, what is up? So I want to just give you a bit of context on what you've just watched, just in case you don't know. So yeah, I, my the huge Pegasus that I've had in my inventory for like a over a year, which by the way, I did not realize it's been that long. And the only reason I know that is because I've gone back on my old videos and I've seen that I've had it like in videos that are a year old. It's kind of crazy how time, how fast time has been moving. So basically to give some context, this NFT pet, if you don't know, it's going to sound a little odd, but pretty much it was an NFT, which is a non-fungible token, which Preston sold them, sold an image of them on a separate website. Basically that's what an NFT is. It's just a picture. But with this NFT, you actually got an in-game pet with it. And that's what the huge Pegasus were. They were the in-game NFT of what would have been on the other website and i'm probably i'm probably not explaining it very well but it is it's an odd and i don't know nfts they're pretty much like gone now anyway i don't think anyone really cares about nfts and i just want to mention you know these nfts of these pets went for like the rainbow went for like fifty thousand dollars or something it was something ridiculous like that and the, the golden one i had i believe there was there was three golden there was one rainbow and there was like seven normal huge pegasus so there was like 10 in total and they all went the normal ones sold for thousands of real life dollars the goldens sold for like tens of thousands of dollars and obviously the rainbow sold for like fifty thousand dollars or something ridiculous i don't know don't ask me why people were paying that but well, i guess people were actually probably paying so they could try and make profit i suppose that's like the only realistic answer i can give you well you might be thinking how on earth did you end up with one? <laughs> because I'm obviously not rich enough to afford to pay $10,000 for a, uh, a picture. So pretty much, I actually don't really know how I ended up with it. I don't remember ever contacting anyone about the NFT or anything like that. Maybe I messaged them on Discord or something, but you got to think this was over a year ago and I do not remember. I don't know who NFT it was that was in my account for a year. Literally have zero idea. I'm not sure who pays this much money for an NFT and then they don't even care about the pet, but you know, we'll, we'll get we'll get onto that more later in the video. But yeah, pretty much what I'm assuming is it was some rich person who bought the NFT thinking that they would make profit on the NFT aspect. And then the in-game pet, maybe they just didn't really care about because they don't really, you know, maybe they're like a lot older, so they probably don't play Roblox and they don't really care about the game itself. They rather were just focusing on trying to make profit on that nft that's what i'm assuming so what they probably did is they probably just searched on youtube and then just got a random youtuber and just gave them the nft which i guess i was the lucky person i don't know that's what that's what i think has happened but i could be wrong and like, like i keep saying that, that nft was on my account for a year 
And I do also just want to say, I never actually owned this NFT. So the way it worked is the owner on the website, he could transfer the pet to whichever account he wanted. So he could switch, he could switch it to my account. And then whenever he wanted the pet back, he could then just switch it back to his account or he could give it to someone else. But for whatever reason, he always just put it on my account for an entire year. You know, I don't I don't know if I don't know if the guy's gonna be watching this. Probably not, but I appreciate it, I guess. Thanks for choosing me to just dump the NFT. It's you know, it's been uh, it's been really cool because I actually also had an NFT tag. Like if I type in game now, I'm just I'm back to like VIP, which kind of sucks. I miss my old NFT like blue tag in game. I don't know, it made me look important. I felt important with it, but obviously, you know, it technically wasn't even mine. One thing that I haven't actually mentioned yet, and it's kind of important, is the fact that it was pretty much trapped on my account, this NFT pet. Like, even if I didn't want it, which obviously, like, I would, I wanted it, you know, who wouldn't want an NFT on their account? Even if I didn't want it, I they literally, I couldn't get rid of it even if I wanted to, which I don't know why I would want that. Because the NFT pet, like I said before, the only way it can be moved is if the original NFT owner actually trans transfers it himself through the, the website, however it was done. So it wasn't actually tradable, like you couldn't send it through trading menus, you couldn't send it in the mail, you couldn't, you couldn't even delete it or fuse it or anything like that it was a very secure pet and one other thing too i've just remembered is every time i would join a new server like it would constantly re go back in my inventory it was a bit weird maybe sometimes you'll see in intros of old videos you know it'll pop up saying an nft has been added to your account that would happen pretty much every time i'd reload into a different server so yeah i always had loads of comments like oh my god he's just got an nft didn't even realize but i was like so used to it that i just kind of yeah i don't know it wasn't like special to me because i'd pretty much see it like every day but it's weird now now that i don't have it i no longer get that alert so it, it is a bit weird so on to the next portion of the video you might be thinking so why is this guy all of a sudden just taking his nft back after a whole year that is because there is actually a reason for it so preston has actually decided to end the nft project so i'm gonna read this out now the red box at the bottom is actually preston's email that which i've blurred because obviously i don't want uh, i don't want to leak his email but he said this greetings we extend our sincerest appreciation for your support of our nft project it is with a heavy heart that we have made the difficult decision to retire the project however we want to ensure a smooth transition for you here's what will happen next on january 28th the nft connection will be disabled permanently which by the way the nft connection is how the guy would transition the pets so from his different accounts you know your huge pegasus will rule i can barely read your huge pegasus will remain on the linked account becoming a tradable in-game additionally as a token of our gratitude we will be refunding your crypto wallet the full amount you paid in ethereum so ethereum is the currency that they would have paid in but it would have been like like actual dollars as well like you could sell ethereum to, through actual dollars please kindly know that these terms apply only to the current nft owner as of january 28th please make sure your desired account is linked before then once again we offer our apologies for any inconveniences caused and want to express our deep appreciation for your early support if you have any questions or concerns please do not hesitate to reach me directly at and that's his email and then he says preston at the bottom so yeah just a quick recap pretty much preston ended the nft project so that means that the website will be closed or something like that i guess now what this means is which by the way actually the nft owners they all got refunded which i thought was very generous of preston that's that's awesome wow so you know the people that spent like tens of thousands are actually getting their money back technically although ethereum would have dropped now so they wouldn't get wouldn't be getting as much as they uh, would have paid but they're still getting some money back but what still is cool though is these nft pets the huge pegasus are actually still in the game the nft project is ended now but that means like it said in that message they are actually tradable so what preston is doing is i think he's either i don't the owner the nft owner is either taking it off my account and put it back onto his obviously because he knew that they were no longer going to be transferable through the connection or preston is withdrew all the pets to the original account that they were put on whichever one it was i, d I don't actually know but yeah you can these nft pets they're now going to be going at what well, I, I should stop saying nft i should call them the huge pegasus because they're no, no longer nft pets the huge pegasuses pe pegasus is, 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 they're now tradable so you will be able to see these in circulation trading about so you never know maybe one i could be uh reunited <laughs> although i doubt it because there are actually only three of them so those things are going to be uh 
pretty much gold. All right, they're going to be, I mean, rarer than gold. They're so, they're going to be super expensive. They're going to be the most valuable pets in the world, especially that rainbow one. Oh, that's going to be worth hundreds of trillions, probably. Probably the most expensive pet in the world. One of one. But uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed if you've made it this far i really do appreciate it and comment down below comment down below lava i'm actually genuinely curious to see who's made it this far in the video so yeah comment down lava and uh i will i will see you soon all right appreciate you watching adios and uh goodbye